Today on Engineering Newswire, we're breaking world records with Legos, checking up on spoiled food without smelling it, and using lobsters to find bombs. To eat the lobster, but whatever. Hot! <laughs> with the sell-by and freeze-by dates on food items, but honestly, who pays attention to those? Sure, most of us will check the dates when grabbing the milk out of the refrigerator, but it all comes down to the smell and taste test. <coughs> to provide consumers warnings of when their packaged food or prescription drugs are in danger of spoiling, a team of Peking University researchers have developed a color-coded smart tag that uses nanotechnology to react to the actual conditions that the items are stored in. The tags have a gel-like consistency and are about the size of a kernel of corn. They would appear in various color codes on packaging. Red or reddish orange would mean the item is fresh. Over time, the tags change color to orange, yellow, and green, which indicates the food is spoiled. So green, don't touch it. According to Chao Zhang, the lead researcher of this study, colors signify a range between 100% fresh and 100% spoiled. So for example, if the label says that the product should remain fresh for 14 days under refrigeration, but the tag is now orange, it means that product is only roughly half as fresh. It might be a little stinky, who knows. The tags were developed and tested using E. coli and milk as a reference model, gross, and they cost much less than one cent, which is great because honestly, who was loving the whole guessing game thing? I sure wasn't. Look. Oh, God. Whew. They'll figure it out. The Cube Stormer 3 robot is made of Legos. But more than that, it is now a Guinness World Record holder for solving a Rubik's Cube in just 3.25 seconds. That is fast. Let's see it again. Woo! Jeez. <laughs> the robot uses a Samsung Galaxy S4, which analyzes the cube and makes calculations to determine what moves the robot's four hands should make. Four hands? Isn't that cheating? Designed by David Gilday, a principal engineer at ARM, the smartphone is powered by an Exynos 5 Okta application processor with an 8-core ARM Big Little implementation. Additionally, ARM 9 processors are used to power the LEGO Mindstorm's EV3 bricks, which perform the motor sequencing and control. The CubeStormer also features an independent braking system to deliver significant speed benefits. That's not my Rubik's Cube. Shouldn't be throwing it. Researchers at the University of Florida are finding that lobsters could one day help protect soldiers. Stay with me on this. The researchers have identified the neurons involved in lobsters' ability to locate a specific scent. They call it lobster radar. Currently, electronic noses can recognize an odor, like, say, a bomb but it's still up to the person handling the device to find the source. Kind of a dangerous job. The olfactory neuron in lobsters constantly discharges small bursts of electrical pulses, kind of like radar. These bursting neurons could help lead lobsters in the direction of specific odors. Odors exist as compounds that find their way to olfactory neurons. The time between each time a compound lands on a neuron, known as a whiff, gives animals a sense of where a smell is coming from. Lobsters use a bursting function because each cell responds to a whiff at a different frequency and pinpointing an odor's source more precisely. Using data from the lobsters, the researchers have created algorithms that give artificial silicon neurons similar features. And voila, an electronic nose that can not only detect odors, but also seek them out, like lobsters. Crash, crash, scat! Lobster! 
Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Megan Zimba, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Crack, crack, scat! Crack, crack, scat! Yeah, you're gonna be okay.